you're going to log into my into the website on my secured site. So I'll put in my P number and my ID number. and the password. And then um, in case you have forgotten your password, you will just click on the request the password and then the system will send you an SMS. Then you can come back and log in. So I'll click enter and I don't want to save my password. And then on the update details, I will just check if my telecommunication details are correct, if the address is correct, the postal, the residential, and the courier address. And then I just confirm that they are correct. And then I click on the CPD button. And then I scroll down to under CPD online system, I click on the continuing professional development and then it opens up to this and then if you have not yet done your annual declaration then you go on annual declaration um, and then this is where you do the annual declaration I'll just update mine It gets here under employment, then I can choose my employment, then it's the Chittery Council. Primary employment status is full time and it's in a private sector. And then for those who have secondary areas of practice, you can choose here and it allows for you to choose more than one. Then I press continue. And then it gets me to the domain competencies where I will declare which competencies I'm practicing at the moment. So I'll go through the competencies one by one. And then if I never do it, I'll click on I never do this and it auto saves. So if I need to change anything, then I need to go back to what I've selected and select a different one. And then scroll down and do all of the competencies and then click continue. And then in here as well, I'll do all of the competencies in this domain and then continue. Then I'll continue declaring until I get to domain number six and I'm done with all the competencies. Then it gets me to here. And then because I've selected one or more of the eggs pertaining to the scope of practice of a pharmacist, it is um, telling me that I'm a practicing pharmacist. So I will agree. But for those that are, do not agree, then you will click disagree, then it takes you back, then you can do your corrections. But then if you agree, then it gets you to the assessment criteria. Then this is where you read the assessment criteria for reflection, for planning, implementation, and evaluation. Then I click I accept. And then here it shows under my annual declaration that I'm a practicing pharmacist. Then now I can be able to do my CPD activities. I go on to reflection. And then here is where I identify a new learning need. Um, then this is the reflection step is where I 
then choose which domain to do my CPD activity on. And then which competency. So I'll choose the communication uh, competency because I need uh, to learn to speak a different language because the community that I'm practicing in is speaking a language that I do not understand. And as a result, I'm unable to communicate with them. And then I'll put in a title, learn to communicate in a different language. Then I choose a learning trigger. Um, mine is other. Then I can specify here. And then learning relation, this is related to my current role. So I'll choose current role, learning initiation. This, uh, I'm going to choose users of my product or services because this I'm doing it for my patients. And then here I'm going to describe the learning need. Okay, so then after Completing all the information, I can now save. Then as I save, it allows me to move on to the planning step. I can either decide to say no, and if I say no, it saves my CPD. And then if I click on yes, then it allows me to continue to the planning step. In the planning step, there is mode of planning. Um, then there is non-measurable, there is measurable, there is structured. Mine is non-measurable because I'm not going to enroll for a formal course. Uh, it's going to mostly be self-study. And then I'm going to self-study uh, for about three months. So it will be until June. And then here I'm going to describe the reasoning behind my planning selection. So I have put in the brief description of my planning on how I plan on doing this and how I'm going to achieve my desired outcome. So now I can save. And then when I save, it now leads me to the third step of the cycle, which is the implementation. But if I'm swamped for time, I can choose to say no, then it saves. Or I can choose yes, which I'm going to do so that it can take me to the implementation step. And then here is where I'm going to put uh, into action the, the things that I have learned. Um, the course has taken me more than 120 minutes, so I'm going to select that. The achievement date, going to change that to the correct date. And then here I'm going to describe in detail what I have done to achieve the specific outcome. Then after inputting all the information, 
I go to save. Then it saves my implementation state. And then I continue to now the evaluation step. And then as you can notice here, it has already pre-populated the title so that I don't have to do it again. And then I can just um, verify that my learning objective has been met. So I, you can choose between fully, partially or not met. Mine was met fully. And then applied the learning. I've applied it in my workplace. And then here I will describe what it is that I've actually learned. And then after I've put all the information, this is the last step. Then I can now choose to either submit for compliance, do the self-review or submit for peer review. So submit, submit for compliance will go straight to the South African Pharmacy Council for compliance. And then, or I can choose to do a self-review Okay, now I'm going to submit um, for peer review. So when you submit for peer review, you need to choose someone who had already done their annual declaration. Otherwise, it will not allow you to select that person. You input the person's P number, you click here. Or you can search by same name. So if that person has not done their annual declaration, it will give you this message that says that the person must have done their annual declaration for the year. So now I'll choose someone who has done their annual declaration. Then I add a peer assessor. And then also here, once you have selected the person, you need to make sure that you activate them. Otherwise, they will not be able to assess you. It shows here under active. If it says no, then you know that the person has not been activated. Then you come here and click activate. And then you know that they are activated. This person will reserve an SMS notifying them to go and accept to review your assessment. So here I have someone who has chosen me as a peer reviewer. Then I can just go in here and decide whether I'm declining or I'm accepting. So I will accept. So we are done with the four step CPD cycle.